right, barbecue crew, Ron, four season barbecue. I'm making breakfast bowls. Got eight eggs in there. Gonna use shredded Mexican style cheese. And a couple of them bowls gonna have Carolina Reaper on it. If you guys don't have these potatoes, these are hash browns. It says serve seven. I don't think so. But season my eggs with the Blackstone Steakhouse seasoning. That's my steak from the last video that I didn't eat. And we got some sausages that we're gonna smash. Then I'll bring you back as soon as I get everything set up. Well, as Butch over there cooking with Crazy Pop would say, we got the white smoke rolling. It only means one thing. Let's get cooking. Get our sausage down. These things are tiny. They're going to have to be smashed. <laughs> You can't get them so close together. I go grab my smasher. Be right back. All right. Got my smasher. Got my parchment paper. I've never heard it. Heard them screech like that before. Maybe they're crying for the help of the uh, meatless gods, the vegan gods. Help me. Got all the smashed. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little brown itch on there. So I can get the, the hash brown, have to cook. Oh, super deep. If you want them crispy anyway. on here real quick. Pour them slow so they don't run all over the place. My griddle leans that way as you can see. Uh, 
that doesn't look like eight eggs, does it? Yeah, that's Do your scrambled eggs, how do you do them? Do you use milk or water? I just put them on the griddle just straight up today because I know it leans real bad and I didn't want them to get too runny and run right off the griddle. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys do them. Trying to go out the hole. All right, check our sausage out here. Oh yeah. Oh dang it! You know what? <laughs> We have to put the cheese in the eggs. It's all right. I will uh, lay the cheese on top, and then when I microwave them, it'll melt the cheese. I really did want to. Cook them right in the eggs, though. Mm. Getting nice and hot. I'm not going to reheat that steak until I microwave it tomorrow in the, for work. So I'm not, I'm not putting it on the grill. I'll show you these hash browns. If you don't have these yet, gotta get them. Fill it up to this line right here with uh, warm water, hot water. Let it sit for a few minutes. And then just come out just like this. There ain't no uh, putting them back in the freezer so they get freezer frost all over on them. And these things taste fantastic. Get the season. The hash browns. Cook them with plenty of butter. First two hash browns. Yeah, I live really close to an airport now. You want crispy hash browns? Gotta have the butter in there. I'm gonna put some more steakhouse. That bottle in the way. Put some more steakhouse seasoning on there. Or not some more, but. You get these Blackstone uh, seasonings at Walmart. And they're a pretty good price. And they are fantastic.
there, the box says search seven. I don't believe it. Anyway, bring it back when these are ready to flip. All right, let's give these a flip. Oh yeah, getting nice and brown. You know what? Since I didn't get the cheese and the eggs. Why don't we just put it in the hash brown? And that's enough. That should work, shouldn't it? The Carolina Reaper cheese will... Well, I'm going to put it in there too. Little peppers in there. You see that? Well, no paper in there. Well, that other cheese is hot. Now we don't have to pulp the microwave melts it. You know, it work, we got some pretty powerful microwaves. These half browns, a little flippity doo -dah. Oh yeah, nice and brown. Easy. Carolina Reaper cheese just pepper sprayed me. Ooh, baby. Don't stand right over that. Oh, here. I know what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. If it isn't hot enough with the Carolina Reaper cheese in it. Oh, look at that brownie. Anything to do that cheese, you think? <coughs> Goodness gracious. Great ball of fire. So, yeah, since it's not hot enough. I can thank my buddy Rob over there at the uh, poor guy with uh, or poor guy outdoor cooking sent me this jar. That's gonna go into the hash browns too. There, it's almost gone, Rob. There it is, right there. If you're not already subscribed, go to Rob's channel. Poor guy outdoor cooking. And go see Butch. Hang on, another plane coming by. Butch over there at uh, Cooking with the Crazy Pop. Both are fantastic channels. Alright, I think them are ready to come off of there. You get these on a plate.
love it when food so hot it chokes you. There. I'm thinking that won't serve seven. Plus our little tiny servings. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. Get it all cleaned up. And we will build us some breakfast bowls. So I'll bring you right back. Alright. Blackstone ain't cooling down fast enough. So I'll show you over here on this other grill. Get them super spicy hash browns in there. Get us a couple of pieces of sausage in there. And we'll get us a little layer of eggs. I'm glad that lid was there to catch that. Uh, eight eggs doesn't make much. <laughs> I got four of these to make. I'm just going to show you this one. Pork out here. I'll just take a piece of egg here. This is good. I'm gonna eat this one this morning anyway. I'll go cat caveman style. Yeah, they uh, those eggs are pretty tasty. Get some ketchup on there for the eggs and the hash browns, and that's what I'm gonna make for my breakfast bowls for the rest of the week. Hope that was in frame. But anyway, this is Ron, Four Seasons Barbecue. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Four Seasons Barbecue, and we're out.